Hello students, Michael Sanchez here. I'm going to teach you guys today how to install a bridge. A lot of times uh, when students um, are tuning the pegs, sometimes the, the bridge can collapse down if it's not done properly as far as tuning. So it kind of makes a, a big snap noise, but don't worry, you haven't ruined your violin or anything like that. You just have to put the bridge back into place. So the side that is not as tall, you see this side is not as tall as this side. This is the E string side. So you want to make sure that when you put the string on the bridge that the E side is right here, the G side is right here. Okay? Now what you want to do is you want to make sure that the strings are loose. Like this, see how high I can pull the strings up? I'm going to put the bridge underneath the strings. And you're going to notice that the bridge has four notches where the strings go over. You want to make sure that they're sitting into those notches. Next, do you see where the bridge lines up as far as the F holes? You want it to line up about right in this little notch right here. This is where the bridge should go. So you don't want it to be too high up here or too low down here. Also, this might be common sense, but some people might not know, the bridge also needs to be perpendicular with the instrument, so it's totally straight compared to the fingerboard. Like that. Okay, so now the tricky part. Making sure that the bridge stays up while I tighten the strings. Oh, and one more thing I have to mention. There's sometimes these little, um, these little things, I actually don't know what they're called, but they're things that can kind of move up and down the strings. You want those to be on top of the bridge. So you see how I just kind of place that on top? What these things do is they prevent buzzes when you play. Sometimes you'll see them, all four of them on each string. Sometimes you'll see one, sometimes you'll see none. But it all varies on when a luthier installs uh, a bridge and they notice a buzz, they'll put those things on to prevent the buzzes. All right, so I'm putting those on top. Okay, my bridge is lined up with the F holes. Okay, now the hard part is keeping the bridge in place and not letting it collapse again. So what I'm going to do is actually hold on to the bridge with my right hand. And I'm going to take the peg and twist it and tighten it. Now I don't want to tighten it too much, just enough to where it's kind of getting a little bit more snug to the point to where now the bridge is kind of, you know, a little bit more sturdy. Now I'll take my left hand, put it on the bridge again, now I'll tighten the A string. Okay, so now the middle two strings are just a little bit tight, whereas the outer strings are loose. You don't want to do it like outer strings first because it can actually cause the bridge to collapse again. So middle two first. Alright, now I'm going to hold on to the bridge again and do the G string peg, tighten that up. Now I'm tightening up the E string peg. I'm not. Now what I'm doing is I'm making sure that the bridge is always staying uh, level and it's not starting to get kind of crooked either, either back and forth because that's going to promote it to collapse again. So it's nice and straight. Now I'm starting to tighten each string just a little bit at a time. Not one all the way, just a little bit at a time. Okay, now the G string is a little bit more. Now, um, a lot of you guys uh, have seen my tuning videos. Make sure that you're pushing into the peg box while you're twisting the pegs, because um, if the pegs don't stick, you're not going to be able to um, tune the violin and the bridge might collapse again if the pegs start to slip. So really make sure you're pushing the pegs in while you're tightening. Okay, I'm really watching the bridge to make sure it's not doing anything. If it's starting to move a little bit, you can kind of take it and kind of make sure it's nice and straight. Ooh. That's actually not a terrible sound, it's kind of scared me. Okay, my A string is pretty tight. Hey, D string's good. G string's good. The E string's always the one that can break, so it's always gotta be careful with the E string.
okay? And it might take some you know, extra tuning for the first couple of days just to make sure that they're um, not gonna stretch on you, so that's pretty standard. So now we have our bridge in place. We have our strings nice and tightened. Uh, the strings are on these grooves on the bridge. Also, I didn't mention this earlier that the strings up here have to be in little grooves at the nut up here. Make sure that's in place as well. All right, so if you have any questions about uh, changing uh, bridges or um, tuning or anything else related to the violin, email me at rivertownviolin at hotmail.com. Hope you guys have a great day.